Hey guys, it's Matt. <clears throat> that device I showed in the first five or ten seconds of this video coming in, I didn't know what it was called, but it's called a Newton's Pendulum or a Newton's Cradle. Uh, if you're driving or listening at work, I'll describe the device if you didn't see the beginning of this video in a moment. But I think the reason I showed it, I think that is the best representation of or descriptor of how the creeps are kind of bound to do business in this realm. How they almost, you could say, if you will, <laughs> contractually have to do business, if that applies. Um, and I think the Newton's Cradle is the best analogy or representation of how the creeps have to do business. Now, if you didn't see the first 10 seconds, um, Newton's Cradle, Newton's Pendulum. Remember that the, it was. it's also called an executive desk toy. It was, a, I guess, a big deal in the 70s and 80s for an executive um, in some corner office somewhere to put the damn thing on their desk. And um, it's five balls, usually, five silver balls. It's Christmas time in the city, f sil not silver bells, silver balls. And you pull, you pull one ball back and you drop it and the balls, and it's so wonderful and magical, the balls in the middle don't move. And then through uh, conservation of, Wikipedia said, conservation of energy and conservation of momentum, the ball on the other side magically springs up and then comes back and hits the balls in the middle, don't move, and the, you know, they just keep going, tick, tick, tick. And I guess if in, in, theoretically they would go forever, but the balls are acted upon by friction, friction of the string creates heat, it dissipates the energy, and eventually after 10 or 15 seconds, the balls stop. You know the contraption I'm talking about. So you're going to, what? That, that executive desk toy, that stupid ass thing, people would put on their desk from the 70s, that's the best example of how the um, the screen, the not milk system, the creeps above the creeps, you know, the three steps above Bill Clinton and his act, how they have to work here in this realm, how they're contractually confined to, to how they have to do business and how they have to make their presentations. Yeah, I think it is from my understanding. I have no insider information on this. I have no eyes wide shut parties. It's pure observation of how they do business, not just through 2001, a 7-Eleven space odyssey, but how they've done business or seem to have to do business for a long time. So I'm going to, and, and it seems like they are bound. They just, they don't have free, free run amok on every little thing. They are bound to do business. It seems in certain ways, and it relates to the big news story now. We'll tie in, I've got a bunch of new hobo codes here. In the news now, there's a big news story now about a, about a variant. And uh, can't say any more than that. But see, we're going to use the word going forward, since I want to freely t talk about it, and, and I can't keep saying it. I'm going to use the word deviant. Deviant, like the, uh, the Nissan or the Scion commercial somebody sent me. It was so bizarre, you just can't not watch it five times. The little deviants. Deviant is the name for what's going on now. And no, I'm not gonna do like all the truth channels and we're gonna go watch the movie named after it and break it down and uh, no, I, I don't play that anymore. Homie, don't play that, ne neither should you. And I'll tell you why we should. What's more important is understanding in general, at the highest level, looking down from 100,000 feet, how they do business, how it seems like they must do business. And then ultimately, even that is a pointless screen exercise unless we can take something away from it and apply it to ourselves, which we will I, I try to do that in every case. So we have the new uh, hobo code deviant. And then we have, I certainly can't mention the name. Um, uh, oh, you know, like, oh, and then the word micron, like a candy bar. Oh, Henry. Um, I can't say that more than what I just did. So I'm going to call it, um, Comic-Con, you know, the, the the comic book convention where Kev, Kevin Smith keeps get, acting crazier and crazier and more mind controlled and more mind controlled and more like a zombie every single time he attends Kevin Smith from Jay and Silent Bob. We're going to call it the deviant is called Comic-Con for our purposes here. And the um, the V with the with the, you know, when, when you have a uh, when you chop wood with an axe, the V when you chop wood with an axe. We're going to just simplify that for the purpose of Hobocode and call it wax. Okay, when you when you get the wax in your candle, this guy got the wax. 
if it wax in his candle, yeah, that's how we have to do it. Okay. Somebody emailed me like, I don't understand all your hobo codes, Matt. Do you have a chart or something? Like was the, the chart that was actually presented in the movie under the silver lake? I'm like, I don't have a chart, but you'll get it. You know, you know, um, 2001, a 7-11 space odyssey. It's that big thing that happened in 2001. You know, you'll get it. You'll get it. So we have Comic-Con, Deviant. Or the, you could, I like, you know, if you want to go all the way and say the little deviance, like the sign commercial. And then we have Wax. And then, like, a few people that are new to this channel are like, this guy borders on crazy, but he seems to have some good ideas. I'm just having fun here. I'm not crazy. Not yet. I might. You'll know. You'll know when I completely lose it. You'll know. Okay, you'll know. Not quite there. Um, so the Newton's Cradle, Newton's Pendulum. Very interesting also to incorporate the word pendulum from trans surfing, which absolutely is part of, of how they, th th I have the Wikipedia up. It's driving me crazy. And it's just the damn thing going back and forth in some sort of, uh, um, not a GIF, but a, what is it called? A, um, what are the, yeah, the GIFs, I guess, the things that just can go, go on forever, like little videos that driving me nuts. I got to turn that off. Okay, guys. So here's basically the way I believe they have to do business just from observing them and it i think you can transfer the pendulum the newton's pendulum into what's going on now and how it goes for them ultimately will be, depend on us the people or the real people the masses so it seems like they initially when they have the right window of opportunity per their astrology however that works who knows i don't know a damn thing about what where Jupiter needs to be or where Mercury needs to be or who'll be coming around the mountain when she comes, when they're allowed to jump in and do their big shit. You know, it's like they all get excited. We can, ah, oh, Jupiter's coming around the mountain when she comes and Mercury's in the right position. We can do our, we can do our big shit. It's right before or after the conjunction. There's some point, their moment in the sun, their moment in their, in their astrological sun. No, uh, yeah, I guess pun intended, but no pun intended. They have a moment where they can reach back, it seems, and they can, they can drop, the hammer or drop the initial ball in the Newton's pendulum. Now, in my opinion, it, it seems they get one chance at that. The momentum of it, tick, 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 tick. It has to continue. It has to, they have to keep it going as long as possible. It doesn't seem like they are able to reach in and drop the ball again. Oh, it's losing momentum a lot quicker. We'll just reach in and pull the ball back and start it up again. It doesn't seem like they can do that. It seems like it, it has to play out as long as they can have the balls going back and forth. And if possible, they would like, if we act on it, an, out, an outside force, if they can get us to breathe life into it or to reach out and pull the ball back, then it can go on forever. And I think that's ultimately what they what they try to do so it seems like look, let's just look at uh, there's there's so many similarities in terms of of 2001 a 7-eleven space odyssey in this it's unbelievable how many similarities there are i think this will play out exactly like that played out unless the people um are are set up or are ready because as they further become zombies and further become mind controlled and further do what the not milk reality wants, they may be more ready to breathe more life into this one. And they certainly seem to be breathing more like, in other words, reaching out and just, you know, they're like, we don't need to reach in and drop the ball at anymore. We can get these people to, we only get one shot at it. Now, if the people did nothing and they didn't reach in and try to and drop the ball again, the ball would eventually wind down. So let's just, let's forget about what's happening now with the, um, what is the, I don't, I forget my own homo codes, the Comic-Con, the, the new deviant is called the Comic-Con. I, the, 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 um, the hobo code that didn't make it was the homey, chromey, holly berry, homey, chromey, holly berry, just not, not that good. It's too, too long, very tough to write out. Or if somebody's using a typewriter, like Tom Hanks uses his C typewriter, this is too hard. It's better to just say Comic-Con as the new deviant. So, Let's just look at um, 2001, a 7-Eleven Odyssey and see how that played out. Okay. They have it. 
per their, it seems like the astrology or, oh, Matt, don't forget wherever Sirius is. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, whatever. However that works, whatever. I, I don't, you know, I, I don't, I'm never going to understand that, especially in relation to how the creeps do business. But they have, it's, all their stars align for them to do what they did for 7 11 and 2001 a space odyssey i mean think of what they did and and somehow they you know you know they they believe they could do that they believe they could they could they could you know without without the gigantic bite of the karma shit sandwich i don't know how they thought they could get away with that from a from a um a jacob marley chain karma attachment but whatever i mean a lot of people don't believe in karma whatever they whatever it is you know they more they know a lot more about the creepy astrology than i do they did the big day. Now, after that, if they could just do it whenever, well, why didn't something a major to my, my hobo code for the, for the type of, of activity is Tism, ism, ism. Why wasn't there a gigantic Tism, ism, ism event a year and a half later in Chicago or Los Angeles or somewhere else? I mean, a major thing. They don't have to do the same, play the same gig again, but they could use, they could go back and use a rider truck. Or I mean, there's so many things they could they could have played out. Maybe not the magnitude of what happened in New York, but they could have done something half easily, and that would have been massive, massive. And if they dropped the ball on the Newton's pendulum, and I'm trying to incorporate, you know, the transurfing concept of pendulum uh, when appropriate. I hope I don't forget to do that. I'm not an expert at transurfing. Um, there's a lot of it that. I don't know that I'm, I haven't studied it in depth, but you know, some of it seems like mumbo jumbo, but the concept of the pendulum as it relates to egregore really does hit home as being accurate. Um, so I'll try to try to incorporate that. Um, so if they could just go in and just, you know, the, the, the balls are winding down, tick, tick, we'll just reach in and pull one back again. Okay. Keep, keep, they didn't seem like they could do that. Um, and if anybody's, you know, they need us to do that. Okay. They need us to do that. And it's potentially, well, let me let me not get ahead of, <clears throat> excuse me, ahead of myself. Matt, were you about to keel over like those soccer players? No, I don't know what's going on there. We'll we'll we'll, we'll look at that later. Um, probably just another reality distraction, but we'll look at that later. Um, so why didn't they just, you know, why didn't they just, um, you know, s something like what played out in X Men Two? to the Golden Gate Bridge. Why didn't that happen? Why didn't they do something massive and just keep the ball going? Because it appears that they can't. You know, that's what it seems like. They need us to breathe life in it to keep the balls going. So if anybody's screaming at me and said, Matt, there's all sorts of things happened after 2001, a 7-Eleven Space Odyssey. It was all bull crap, tiny little bull crap, not reaching in and pulling the ball back again to keep it going with the same strength that it came off of in 2001, it would be the equivalent of like, well, we can't touch the balls, but oh, somebody just brought a fan in here. I can still see the damn pendulum going back and forth. It's annoying as heck. Somebody can bring a fan in. Oh, we can blow the ball with air or every time the ball comes up, blow on it. That It's like they can't touch it. That's what, you know, Richard Reed was, 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 was like that, that dummy that, you know, with, he, with his shoes, the reason we have to take our shoes off in the airport, because he tried to, he said to the person next to him in, in uh, 21 uh, B, said, do you, do you have a, do you have a, do you happen to have a pack of matches or a lighter? Oh, you do? He, he forgot them. And then he just took his shoe out. Remember he tried to, oh, he's called the, uh, can I say it? He's called the shoe loner. You know that, remember the shoe loner? His hobo code's on the fly. Um, and then you had the edible underwear bomber, the edible underwear bomber. Both of these people were bordering on retarded. And don't say that that, Matt, they kept it going through. Those, those events, first of all, nothing happened. Second of all, the magnitude is, is 100 million times smaller than what happened on 7-11-2001, a space odyssey. So don't say they kept it going. That's nothing. That's like blowing on the ball as it's the, the silver silver balls. It's Christmas time in the city. It's like blowing on the balls to keep them going. You can't, it seems like they can't reach in and pull the ball back. But if they can get the people, you know, little George Soros came along in, in one of their meetings and said, we can get the people to do it for us. Yeah, that's how it works, little George Soros. You're starting to catch on. We'll get these quantum generator beings, as Bootsy back there, We'll get these quantum generator beings and, and real people. If we can get them to reach, keep swinging the ball back and them believing in every bit of it, 
and believing in Tom Ridge's <laughs> Tom Ridge's color coded events. Um, you know, if, if for those for this, I guess it wouldn't be under age 35. It'd be if you're under age 30, you probably don't remember. For five years after uh, 7 Eleven 2001, a space odyssey, um, Tom Ridge had his color coded ex Pennsylvania governor, meaning um, if you wanted to go visit New York City and go up and see the play, The Book of Mormon, or something like that, he's like, Dad, uh, shouldn't we check Tom Ridge's color code before going to New York City? And this is, if it's red or orange, I don't think we should go. And it never, it never left yellow. The the threat was always, <laughs> the threat was always relatively high for 20 years <laughs> until their next Saturn uh, Jupiter conjunction or whatever. So I want to ask Levette, like I, just to stray a bit, ask Levette or somebody that knows astrology, or at least Le Levette has said, hey. Saturn is now back in control, and to a lot of astrologists that are in the know, um, Saturn is demonized as Satan, and um, Levette and others would say, no, 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 Saturn is a much more positive thing for all of us. It's Jupiter and Mercury that the creeps have attached themselves to, along with Sirius. And I want to ask Levette, well, if, if, if the conjunction happened a year ago, or on the solstice or whatever, and Saturn's back in control... Well, why, well, how come there's no, we don't see any positives from that, do we? How long do we have to wait? Saturn's back in control. Isn't that good? I mean, that, that's what we were told. So how is this bullshit still happening now? It's, it's like, if, if, you know, it's like, from the perspective of what the astrologists would say, Jupiter's still in control. If Saturn regaining control via the conjunction is such a great thing, well, where's the evidence? How long do we have to wait? for my life to get better see what i'm saying so i don't i don't understand that but I, again i don't understand squat about this whole astrology thing anyway i do believe i do that being said i'm 100 percent convinced that the creeps absolutely do business by the stars i don't think they they take a, a you know what without something being aligned in the right house and every single monument every single cornerstone and every creepy building in dc is probably set with the stars being in a certain place, they absolutely do business by it. I do believe the astrologers there, and no doubt about it. Although, you know, I mean, I, I can't. How can I know for sure? But that certainly seems to be the way they do business. So, another example, if you don't like the the um, Newton's pendulum, would be um, Azaris joined us. I didn't even notice. Um, would be uh, a fire, just a fire. Um, Billy Joel's, you know, I should, that just popped in my head, like we didn't start the fire. There's probably some major, I know they go through all the events and everything, but there's probably some major truth drop in that. They start the fire. They, when, when they have that astrological moment in the sun, it appears like when they're able to, to do something as egregious as 2001, a 7-Eleven space odyssey, or when this thing was rolled out, they start the fire, but it doesn't seem like they can keep feeding it. They need us to feed the logs. Now they can blow on it, and it's like, oh, we we got it set up and we started it. Then there's not much they can do to it directly, in my opinion. They can't just pile a bunch of logs on a year and a half or two years later and make a bonfire. If they what they need are is they need people like us. I'm not going to do it. People like me, people like you, the society, um, the masses. They need us to then take over to uh, openly um, and willingly to feed the fire. So if something major happens in terms of, I mean, real serious illness or death, let's just go, you know, something that has not happened yet. They, there's, it's a two out of 10, in my opinion. The news tells us it's a 10 out of 10. Certain groups and certain people have become sick from something. We'll leave it at that. It's not a complete... Like a lot of the truth community, I don't know how many of the truth community still is. They still saying cake, cake in a lake and a fake, like the um, the Cokes word, like it's just completely nothing. I mean, that, that I don't, we don't know what's happening. It's a two out of 10. It's not a 10 out of 10. It's a two out of 10. But there's some groups of people are getting whatever. Okay, you know my, you know my take on it. You know, I don't, I don't know how at this point anybody could cry complete hoax, but whatever we'll talk we'll debate that some other time um they they get it started then they need the, the, the fire then they need real people the only way that fire can keep going is for real people to take over and start feeding it to to throw life into it to add wood to the fire to make it if something major happens and real 
real nasty illness breaks out, it will be because the real the people fed the fire. The people created it. The people crowned the egregore or pushed the pendulum to such a degree where it, it maybe took on a life of its own. Or the people need to reach out. The, the balls are just a little bit ticked to the, you know, the little, they were they were going up two inches and now they're only going up, um, you know, two centimeters and they're about to go out like a fire is about to go out. They can get the people to reach in and we can get the people to actually reach in and pull the ball back for us and keep our bullshit going as long as, as they'll go along with it. Then that that's the way it works, um, in my opinion, how they seem to be bound almost contractually to do business this way. They can start it when their stars are aligned, but then they need to convince us, including the, the truth community being played the whole way, with this and every other thing to keep it going, to pull the balls back, to keep, to keep the fire going. So um, point number one is um, if there is something really ugly that comes out of this, and I mean really ugly, you know, like, like serious, um, like, like 1918. I mean, 1918, um, I've mentioned several times, um, it was the uh, Spanish flu. Uh, my, my great grandfather died in philadelphia and there were there were the millions of deaths that that, that they talk about it's, it's it's absolutely real so um someone say, might say well how did they pull that off I, I maybe they didn't pull that i mean we don't i don't know i mean i i can only i i don't know i don't know what hand the creeps had in that or i mean i what you know it's, it's i can only observe you know a relatively short period of time of which i've been awake to generally how things work here. So the point is, um, if this thing ever becomes, turns and starts to look like that thing, which was a real problem, then it will be because of us. I don't think it will be because they're, Matt, don't you know they're holding back a bioweapon and they're going to release? I don't buy it. I don't believe they can do business like that. I don't believe they can do business like that. They have windows of opportunity every so many decades to do something to start a fire and then they need to convince us to breathe life into it there's no doubt in my mind that that that's some sort of i don't know a better way to describe it but it, the rules of this realm con, they're contractually how they have to do business i don't know but they're masters though at getting the people to feed their fire and to breathe life into it. And in terms of, again, the, you know, the transurfing idea, Newton's cradle, Newton's pendulum, the idea of a uh, pendulum in, in transurfing is very much related to um, what some people call a thought form demon or an egregore. And the best way to really understand egregore is to go watch the movie Branded, where the movie Branded implies very similar thing to what I think somebody that's an expert at trans surfing would say, um, or would um, somebody that's that, that knows, you know, can talk about egregores. If you watch the movie Branded, they're saying like McDonald's, for example, is they it's, it's these corporations to a degree are are real entities, like a, a, like a, they call it a thought form demon that. Um, it takes on a life of its own. I'm not an expert at it, but the movie branded, um, I guess, was it, I don't know if it was like a, they live glasses type thing, or, or maybe, maybe just the audience watching the movie. I know. I think, I think one guy in the movie could see, he could see the egregores behind the corporations, almost like, you know, the, they live glasses, you, you know, everything's changed. So let's just put it from that perspective that they live glasses. But I think, I think somebody in the movie could see it. You, you go to see McDonald's, little kids, and I remember one scene in particular, little kids like, I want McDonald's, I want McDonald's. And I think the, the movie might be in a foreign language, I'm not sure. And then he puts the glasses on, or all of a sudden you can see, you see like this big blob demon <laughs> behind the McDonald's that's literally like tr attracting the kid or trying to, and the kid, because the kid has had so many mcdonald's in his life there's a like a little demon attached to him if i remember correctly that's trying to like merge with the larger demon that's what's drawing the kid like i want mcdonald's i want mcdonald's and so uh, then he goes and gets the mcdonald's and then like this huge 
energy blob goes off of him and feeds the, the demon, the egregore, the thought form uh, demon or the pendulum, and it gets even larger. And there's absolutely something to this. There, there's, I, don't, I don't understand the details behind it, but these corporations, they basically do almost become like a, an entity of some kind. And it, the, 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 that's also why it's called a pendulum in trans surfing is it, you know, it, you get real creative beings to believe in something and to get something moving in a certain direction. Then it takes on in some way a life of its own how sentient it is or does it think and feel like you and me or like, I don't know. I mean, who knows? It doesn't, it doesn't matter. It just, it just takes on certain characteristics of being a real thing. Okay. And that is, um, it could be a truth drop in what, what was that stupid case that, uh, you know, that case, I don't know somehow Mitt Romney was involved. Was it 10 years ago where, um, Oh gosh, you know where I'm going with this. It's um, corporations are people too. That there was some court case that said corporations are people. Remember something like that? And that this is like a truth drop that yeah they are these these corporate egregores, thought form demons and pendulums are real. And one of the things Transurfing says that's a great a great um, thing to adopt whether you believe in all the Transurfing stuff or not. From a pendulum perspective, the um, little problems become also take on a life of their own that's what more the concept of a pendulum so for example what happened to me uh you know three weeks ago was the start of it i guess with the with the um the surge and then the the box exploded and no power and the 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 transserving people say if you just you know it's then the they whatever that that the the spawning of an egregore is all over you if you worry about it and you breathe the wrong kind of energy into it constant and you just are angry and you will feed it like in the movie branded pieces of energy will go into it and it will grow and grow and you can you, you, the people real generator quantum beings are responsible for feeding these things whether it be a small problem like the like the electricity issue, I don't like to say power anymore. A loss of electricity, not a loss of power. That's um, English, you know, a spellcraft. I lost, I, you know, I went ran around. I lost my power. I ran around to a bunch of people. Hey, I lost my power. Wait a second. What am I saying? I'm I'm feeding some egregore to say I, I didn't lose my personal power. My personal power is getting stronger. I lost my electricity. You know that that ACDC shit that Edison came up with it that I guess he stole from Tesla or whatever, and then you put put that in place so then they can charge for it when everything they had free energy 100 years ago they have to put everything in a way that um that that they can charge money for that then feeds the egregore so so um i don't you know even the guys even the we'll talk about tesla some other time even i don't believe any story the way it's presented to to us this tesla was this altruistic person that is just trying to help all of us i I don't i don't buy any of that stuff anymore we'll talk about that some other time um, basically, to me, it's a truth drop for those that investigate it, that all this free energy, of course, it all exists. Of course, you know, m- medical cures across the board, in my opinion, exist. And it's all held back. Um, but anyway, we'll talk about that some other time. So the transurfing idea is if you w- worry and stress, and, and then it just it feeds it, feeds it like the, like the blobs in Brandon. The best thing to do is just go with it. You know, here comes the pendulum. If you take it, I mean, like a bit, like even a Newton's, think of a Newton's pendulum, but a Newton's pendulum, like the size of um, a carnival ride in Wildwood, huge balls. You take it on, man, that ball's going to smack you. And the only chance you have is to kind of run with the ball, like running alongside a train and just kind of go with it and jump on it. And then the ball will slow down and just let the water flow off the back of the duck. Just go with it. Okay. Just, 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 just. Put it, you know, ease it along the way to the, to the, you don't try to push it into a corner immediately with force. Just, okay, you want to get it in the corner eventually, you know, just, just lead it, guide it, guide it in. There's a movie that's coming to mind. Um, but I, yeah, I, for, I forget exactly the, what the, the movie scene I want to reference, but you can't just smack, you can't go head on with it. And then if you actually, you know, worry and stress and all that, then the, the ball coming rushing towards you, the pendulum is even more larger and you've actually fed it and helped create uh, the, the thought form of the egregore. So either way, I didn't, I didn't really get that out real well, but it's good advice. It's good advice. 
so um, regarding, just to sum this up, regarding what is going on now, um, I don't believe they have the ability to drop the ball again. Mean, meaning another major mad they're just they're they're big they're just waiting to strike they're big uh, bio weapon or they're going to do this and that I just don't think they can do business like that i really don't um it seems to be playing out at so far exactly like 7 11 2001 a space odyssey where you have the big huge thing and then they keep the ideas coming oh richard reed the shoe uh, he sold shoes on that airplane and all this little stuff. And it just kind of wears down that eventually the color coded Tom Ridge's color chart went away. And then eh, eight, not 10 years, nobody cared. Nobody cared. They had little events around the world. And they'll talk about, they, they tried to breathe life back into it with ISIS taking over from, um, you know, Al Qaeda, you know, all that stuff, but it's not, they couldn't reach out and grab the ball and just pull it back again. And then it petered out, it, like the like the Newton's pendulum, petered out. It put let those balls start. It will stop in 15 seconds unless acted on by an outside force. And the outside force is us. So in this case, I think, I mean, literally, the going through, you know, the the 2001 711 Space Odyssey, it it literally could be a learning exercise for them to learn how to manipulate the masses to create the thought form egregore demon that they that they want constantly feed information back into themselves into their sentient world simulation or whatever and i don't think they know exactly every single what what move to make across the board and so so they put i'm not saying this is the sole reason for 711 um a space odyssey i'm not saying this is this is sole reason for it but one of the reasons for it, it could be they are incredibly patient beyond anything we can understand. It's not human how, how patient it is. A learning experience in terms of how real people manifest. Okay, it, it could be a big issue. A huge learning experiment. Um, now, I know it's more than that. The whole two into they're two into one religion. They had two, two towers and then it's one. But then it's like they needed that to bridge to the next event because the the one world trade center looks a certain way it looks just like who do we have here czar it looks a certain way and it has at the top is the you know what's going the, the the top of it is that spire and the point which bridges to the next event which is now so it's almost like a, one thing one major thing that went down in 7-eleven was that we you know we hey the, the, they started the fire on that day or they pulled the ball way back and dropped it how do we keep the balls going as long as possible if we're not allowed to to act on the ball again how do we get the people to do it and they learned a tremendous amount uh during that event how they can get the people to breathe life into what they want which is now going on here if that so so in other words if this um comic-con uh deviant if the comic-con <laughs> deviant really does start to cause a lot of people problem and it's real like your you know your grandmother just drops over it's and it's real then in my opinion the people will have had to have breathed life into it not them per the way my understanding and observation of how they do business and this doesn't mean what we're going through now it this might be low on the list of what they ultimately want to learn about human five-fingered beings to get them to manifest what they want. In other words, this seems like the end all to, to everybody in the truth community. Just as you can, t you can, every, everything's a fractal, it all relates to itself. Excuse me. So we talk about when you're, when you're dreaming, you know, just totally um, change the subject into what we've talked about a few weeks ago, but related to this. When you're dreaming, oh, that seems real when you're in the dream. Then you wake up and it all makes sense. It's all put into perspective. Oh, that was just a dream. So the smart person then would learn from that and say, well, then we die and everybody's set up to believe that's the ultimate. Wherever you go, heaven, hell, whatever your belief system is, um, wherever, whatever it might be, whatever your religion, that's the end. Well, what did the last reality teach you? 
that you're awake, you go to sleep at night, then you think that's real, then you wake up and you're like, well, that's, oh, that's all it was. Put that into perspective. There's always another layer down. So we think this life's real, but then when we die, that's the highest level. And then the earth life makes sense. Well, why wouldn't we be smart and think it continues? We might be a thousand layers away or whatever we may be away. We'll be fooled. Aren't we fooled now into thinking this reality, this life is all there is? Like this, my father said, I think this is all there is. This is, I think we probably just go to nothingness. The whole reality here is, is set. it wants everybody to believe this is the ultimate. This is all there is, the pinnacle. And oh, certain people might have certain notions of what happens after death, but they still want, even the religious, they want most people to believe that this is, this is all important. And then somebody dies or metamorphosis goes into a different existence after the, after their so-called death. And then you say, oh, that earth life, then looking back, that makes sense. Well, why do you think you're, you're at the highest level? You could be a thousand levels off. So we have to, you have to do the same thing here with, um, the what they're trying to play out now the whole c narrative that started the end of 2019 and very interesting the day um i got zara um the day i got zara was one of the days there's several days where they identify that this was like the first day in china it was like identified and there's there's different opinions on which day was the first official day but one of the days um, at least for a few articles I researched about a year ago, was the day it was identified was the day I got Zara. And just to stray here, because I don't want to get back to this point, I think it's very important. But I, I felt like I was so, the apprehension of being in that mall, the, um, was it the Oxford Valley Mall? Um, it's one, down in, um, off the turnpike, um, Fort Washington, Willow Grove, Willow Grove Mall, perhaps, down as you go take the turnpike towards uh, towards uh, Trevos and Philadelphia. It was so much weight in that mall, um, and it was um, it was before Thanksgiving, 2019, November, and I felt I'm just so apprehensive because I'm I'm probably going to get this cat, and will it be as great as Belle and I thought all of that weight, and, and I was like snapping it. Pam Pam arranged to me to meet the 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 shelter that would get get me this cat. We saw some pictures. The owner, the foster owner, says it was very nice. Blah blah. blah. They didn't tell me it bites. It bites the owner, but Zara's okay. We're doing we're doing okay. Um, so the point is, I, I'm sorry for being long winded. Um, maybe the the tremendous weight I felt was potentially what was coming. Um, to the world. I mean, it was, it was packed this mall before Thanksgiving, the, the Christmas trees were up, the shoppers everywhere. And I figured, boy, I just remember thinking, I think, boy, I'm so nervous and apprehensive about getting this cat. If I, you know, if I go in and the cat's relatively nice, I'm going to take the cat. I'm not going to like say, I don't like its color and send it back. And I was very apprehensive and I was very, um, I just was snapping it, you know, just irritable and, um, a weight I have never really felt before. And of course I figured it's just all Zara, you know, it's, it's she's not going to live up to what Belle was and my other old Torty, but it could have been like, that was when it was hitting that, that day. And, um, I don't go into crowds much anyway. So you know what I mean? But anyway, just an interesting tidbit. Um, so did they use one of the, one of the reasons for, they always get five things out of whatever they do. It's not just one reason. You know, the first grade truther will be like, well, they did that for money and for a pipeline. Really? They did that for money. Well, they, yeah, they, they get some creepy groups over here, get a lot of money and they build the pipeline. That's all nice. They didn't do it for that. That's never about the money. It, so there's always a, different levels of, of benefit. And so same with um, 2001, 7-11 uh, uh, um, Odyssey. So Matt, the movie, the movie name changes every damn time with your hobo code. One of the things they probably got out of it is to learn how to get real creators, generator beings to manifest. And it, and they weren't successful. They weren't successful. Maybe they didn't want the T-ism, ism, ism, ism to go more than the 20-year the cycle. 
And but but they probably think if we would have now we've learned if we would have done this and that we could have you know the energy level of of the Newton's pendulum for Tism Ismism it started to fall off pretty quickly like the you know the first think of the first day gigantic silver ball smacks into another and then within even just within a few years the balls were just like t- t- just kind of going like a millimeter up a millimeter up Richard Reed the shoe salesman running around you know that stupid ridiculous stuff and they said okay. You know, they, they, then they have the computers, the, the technology. Oh, the sentient world simulation learned. We learned how to, for the next the, the next gig, you don't do the old, same old gig. You do the new gig. This is the new gig. That's what Basher said in Oceans 11, 12, and 13. You got to play the new gig. This is the new gig. We learned how to get these mofos to manifest because we can't reach in and grab the ball again. We can't put more wood on the fire. But we think we know how we can get them to feed the fire. So this seems like the, the end all, the top event, the biggest thing they're ever going to pull off. Remember, it's, it's a bit, which means it's likely not. Just like we said, this life seems like everything there is. But the dream life is like screaming at us like a reminder that you, you know, maybe the whole point of the dream life is just screaming the reminder that there's always another layer. So, so this seems like, oh, this is the big thing here. This, they could be te- they could have 10 more their playbook is so creepy so long so patient there could be 10 other things after this and then we're gonna just simply and what could be better about learning how to get real people to manifest other than through health and illness psychosomatic issues hypochondriac issues C- can illness be created via the mind you know what's and some of these little deviants, little some of these um, little deviants like the Comic Con, Kevin Smith's Comic Con, that complete uh, mind-controlled zombie. Some of them are probably sentient world simulation tests to see how many people will bring it on themselves, and it how that relates to the test and the PCR. And I mean they're. It is evil genius beyond anything we can possibly imagine. And there's no, I'm going to say it every time, there's no, it's, it's not human. That does not mean alien. It, is, it does mean alien per the definition. It does not mean, that was Zara's tale. It does not mean little green men. It just means there's something else here we're dealing with other than Bootsy. Um, it's evil genius to the extreme. Um, and... This thing that seems like the end-all be-all, it could be simply learning, another learning opportunity, a 20-year learning opportunity about how human beings manifest so they can use the population to put more um, wood on their fire. How the wax candle, how the wax candle, how that relates to getting people to manifest I don't know. I mean, you know, how, how, how am I supposed to know? That's just, that's way above my pay grade. But somebody might be saying, well, wait a second, Matt, what what would they, you got to think big. So, well, they're learning, so they're using these major events, one of the things they're getting out of it, it or, or potentially this is the most important thing to them, learning how to get human beings to manifest the reality that they want. They're using these huge 20-year cycles and the huge, the, the, this, what's going on now is like, what in 2001 a 711 space odyssey a stanley kubrick special is what's going on now is that this is just another iteration of what was presented it's just a little bit different format something happens big and then it slowly starts to peter out if it doesn't peter out then i think they've learned how to get human five-fingered beings creative generator beings to feed their fire and once they learn how to get humans to feed their fire where the fire will then increase. They whatever they start, they can get real people to then make it into a huge bonfire, then maybe it is over. Maybe, maybe then then that's truly when we're in trouble. And someone's like, well, what would they need human beings to do? A lot of things. A lot of things, uh, if you think big enough. What about um, I mean the movie Dark City, the the strangers. Um I'll try to do, do the Keith Keith or Sutherland, but I, I can't it was like a Mandela effect for me, guys. I went back and watched the Keith or Sutherland um, diatribe on what the strangers are and, and what what their role is in terms of studying the human soul in Dark City. 
and it didn't seem to be the same kind of horrible overacting, like it had changed. But I don't want to, you know, somebody's like, oh, this guy seemed like he had some interesting ideas, then he's just a Mandela affected uh, crazy freak. No, I, it just, I'm not calling it a Mandela effect. It just didn't seem the same to me. I'm like, I remember, I remember Keith Sutherland, he talked more like that. So I'm kind of remembering what, what it was. Let me tell you about the strangers. And it, it was such horrible acting. You would never think Keith Sutherland could ever get another role in Hollywood after that horrible performance. But it was, it's not like that anymore. It's a little bit more normal, but whatever, you know, reality's fluid in a lot of ways. Dark City showed us that. So Dark City, he says, the strangers, this alien influence here, they study, they don't have a soul. They study the human being because they want to get, they want to understand it. They want it for themselves. It's no different than Carol Ann's closet and poltergeist that the beast wants, Car- it didn't have what Carol Ann had. It didn't have that life force. That, you know, the beast wants to be <laughs> close to, Carol Ann is a strong life force. I'm not, that's not too good. It wants to be close to it. It can't have what Caroline has. The strangers want to get close, and they want to study the human soul. And it's no different. The creeps here to us, in my opinion, they don't have what we have. Matt, you're just saying that to make yourself feel good. Say whatever you want. I believe this with every fiber of my being. They, it's like the strangers. They don't. That doesn't. You know, they don't. Let's just put it in a very general sense. I'm not saying. Um, you know, who knows what a character like Melvin P is? Does he have a soul or not? Smart people say spiritually they're devolved compared to us. They're not where we are. They want what we have. So in terms of what potentially could be manifested, um, anything, a way out of here, a way out of here. What's all the, look, look, let me just back up and say this. We all believe people watching this believe we have a we have we might do the wrong things and doom ourselves and have to repeat or go into another body or whatever we all believe that we have more than anybody else the people watching this it has nothing to do with religion we have a way out okay a connection to a spiritual self that's not here we believe that or we know that um it's basically gotten to knowing at this point we aren't sure exactly what the creeps are you know, it seems like they're more doomed here. You know, some people like Tony think that they're, they, if they just do enough work over so many, however long it would take, they eventually can evolve to where you and I are, even a creep like Melvin P or a Bezo. They can, they, but they've just, they're addicted here. There's too many pleasures. They're not willing to take the leap and to do what we've done spiritually. But maybe there's a segment that, you know, they won out. They are doomed here. They might won out. And can they can they learn through 7-Eleven and 2001 Space Odyssey? Can they learn how human beings manifest? Can they learn how human beings manifest in terms of creating disease or health in this? So this isn't this might not be anywhere near the end all be all. It's just a learning experience. The way the strangers study humanity to get close to the human soul in the movie Dark City. So well, and somebody's still screaming. Well, what do they want to manifest? A way out. A, a way out. Here. Well, that doesn't make sense, man. How are we going to provide them with a way out? What could we manifest for them? Who knows? I, I don't know. I mean, this is beyond my pay grade. But let, let's let's stop and think of this. Why is there a, an endless presentation of space, like a Star Trek type presentation? Space, traveling into space, wormholes, warp drive, light speed, Star Wars. I mean, there is the there, there's Netflix. Would you say once a month there's a space series? Um, there was, what was the one with, um, the girl that was in the karate kid five or whatever, million dollar baby. She was, a was something about the mother or something. It's just endless robots in space, lost in space. And let's just stop. Okay. Is it that exciting? Well, it, it is, it, it is interesting to even to, to me. I like Star Trek. What could be out there? It does, um, uh, Kindle the, you know, imagination. It does sell. I'll give you that. But is it is it that exciting to be pushed that much, as much as it is? Would you say there's thousands of space movies and TV shows? If you add up all the episodes, or tens of thousands. I mean, potentially, no, no, let me just get this out. This is weird, I know, but, you know, this, we don't come here to not think big. When we think big, we're going to be wrong a lot, but whatever. Um, the more 
quantum creative imaginative beings that are we are needed to create this reality in some sense there's no question about that if the more people believe over a certain amount of time that you can go travel out to all these places and there is a way to break through and it isn't just you know the the whole cosmology of of heliocentric versus geocentric and all the more people believe it maybe literally the 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 firmament or whatever is being pushed out by the amount of people that believe in it and you know who knows in the back room well we've 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 showed them the space series and space tv shows so many times over the past 40 years we would think by now that the you know the firmament would have been pushed out or the quantum creator beings would allow us to travel out of here i don't know i don't know there's something there I don't, I don't know. I can't put my finger on it exactly how, and if you don't like the example, there are other examples how human five finger beings are used to create the reality they want. And, you know, if you, if we, if everybody believes that Elon's uh, scent called Musk, Elon's scent of Musk will land on the damn thing, will land on the red planet. If everybody believes that, then it could in one day it could happen because enough reality generator being believe that and then they could be saying little george soros could say if we can get to get there then we know there's that that wormhole that we can get out of here we can finally get out of here without having to change our incarnation into uh, simultaneous ones or what who knows i'm just saying what's going on now it's just, uh, it's a little ignorant and naive to believe this is the end all be all. This could be, there could be a hundred more steps after this or things they're going to try to pull. But the real scary thing is if they truly understand how to get five fingered beings to feed the fire for them, which means the fire can be perpetually maintained or to go up or down to any level that they want, then that they are not there yet. Okay, we saw that with just 20 years ago, the teaism, ism, ism, ism. It just petered out to nothing. So they feed information into their sentient world simulation and their creeps and their this and that. And then, but they're learning a lot in this one. But why would we think this is the end all of what they what they ultimately want to accomplish? And you know, look, it could go either way. If if it seems like to me, it will follow. The good news, it does seem to me that it will generally follow the the 2001 7-11 odyssey um, of uh, the teaism ism it, it seems like the, the more life is breathed into it initially, so they're learning, it seems, but it will peter out. They, I don't think they truly understand how to use human beings to quantumly generate exactly what they want yet. So it will peter out, in my opinion. Um, anyway, that just, but, but see how the, the, the serious level is it's not it's being extended beyond what they could pull off in 2001 um and then you know if all goes the way they have it planned then the next one they will you know they'll learn more so i, I don't know for this one guys you know they're gonna they're gonna pull this bull crap they're gonna pull the d you think they're not you know it wasn't in the initial script was anybody surprised? Like the new deviants just keep coming. The little deviants, which are the the, you know you know my hobo code for that, which is the the one now is called um, Comic Con, or you might like Homie Chromie Holly Berry. They're gonna keep doing this as until the people most the, the masses are on the verge of of going. Wait a second, you know which is I don't even know if that's possible in the regular masses to be like to catch on that something might not is amiss here but they'll know when when they've pushed too far and you know the fire's starting to go out and like when we get them to throw a, another little bit of straw on to keep it going and the people are like if, if if we get them to throw another thing of straw and then they're going to be like wait a second why am i doing this these aren't the droids you know how many times can you say to the masses these aren't the droids you're looking for drive along you know eventually wait a second there's some sort of mind control going here i don't they can't it'll peter out because they will back it off right before the moment um they'll know when they're going about to be exposed when it's not all lost for most there there's still whatever there's still a little bit of real inside a lot of people that can be tapped into in my opinion i don't i'm, I'm going a bit away from everybody's a background player everybody's an npc 
Well, you know, if that's the case, then those background people and NPCs don't generate reality for them. Then it's even more on people like us, people like me, people like you, the truth community, to do what they want. And that's what I'm saying you. Every, every other bit shoot video is exactly serving what it wants. Every, maybe, it's like 90, maybe 95% of bit shoot videos, that type of video. Um, you know, in terms of um, the, the main thing that they're pulling now, of course, is the group that, um, you know, the real deviants, like the, the, that won't do it, you know, will be blamed, of course, and are being blamed for everything bad. You know, at some point, who knows how far they'll take it. If somebody's, if there's a rash, let's say, um, Exide batteries or diehards, they put out a bunch of crappy batteries and people uh, in upper New England, oh, there's this rash of their cars won't start when it drops below 20 degrees. All of a sudden, the people's cars aren't starting under 20 degrees. They'll blame the people that didn't get it. Those are the people like me. Say, those guys that didn't go get it, they're, you're blaming those guys that didn't get it because cars won't start? They'll blame us for everything. That's of course, that's all in the cards. It's all in the cards. Um, and, you know, can anybody in the comments, I mean, bridge how, how does the, you know, the getting, I, this, this is just too, you know, I was going to, I was going to say, how does getting of the, of the V actually help them in, in getting people to, to manifest the reality that they want or to build out the infrastructure on the reality that they want. But it's just, I've got to think about, about this. There's something there, but I'm not, I can't talk about it on the fly. It's almost like that 20% that the ones being blamed like me, they're the ones that are ultimately being set up to, to being used to, to manifest the reality that they want. Um, anyway, I'm just rambling at this point, but the truth community, I really believe this, like I presented before is like Neo. It's there to fulfill a role. Neo was needed to reimplant the code back into uh, Zion. Neo was used. Oracle was never on Neo's side. Architect was never on Neo's side. Everybody was used by the Oracle and the Architect to, um, to, 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 to get everything put in place the way they wanted. Um, and the, then Neo was used to implant the code. The matrix is reset. The Oracle, the Architect, and Sati are happy again. The truth community is the same thing. We are, we are, alt we are in the middle of being used over a long period of time for um for, to re basically reimplant the code just like the matrix um and uh, we better we better wise up and turn off all that bit shoot crap i mean yeah every every single uh, it, matt when a when a doctor comes on a bit shoot interviewed that worked for prizer pfizer prizer and and, and that doctor exposes um i'm telling you it serves the system 100 percent those types of bit shoot videos. I don't know exactly how I'm not prepared to talk about it. I, it, it's every video, Matt, this doctor is exposing this and that about, about what the, uh, the PCR test really is. And he worked for the company that created it. And look at this bit shoot interview, 100% serving it. That's all I can tell you. I'm not prepared to tell you the details on that or, or, or haven't thought it through. I can just sniff it and it all has to be turned off. Even the, the stuff that the, the, the truth community has done already on the Comic-Con deviant. Absolutely serving it. Absolutely serving the system um, in every way. And uh, we better, better stop feeding it uh, before it's too late. Thanks, guys.